welcome. We'll learn about levels in Revit architecture. Levels are finite horizontal planes that act as reference for elements such as roofs, floors, etc. So we'll see how to create levels in software. So here I took a new architecture template. So to create levels, we need to switch to any one of the elevation view from project browser. So here we can find project browser. Under elevations, we can switch to any one of the elevation view by double clicking on that. So here double click on any one of the view. So once we double click here, we can see we have directed to south elevation. And here we can find default levels, level 1 and level 2. Level 1 at 0 height and level 2 at 4000 mm. So here we can change the units also. So now by default we are in mm. So to change the units, shortcut key is un. So once we give un, here we can see projects unit tab. So here length, so here millimeters under this we can find different units feet inches decimeters centimeters we can select any one of them so here i'm setting it to millimeters only and rounding of value and the unit symbol we can include mm if we want so after giving all the requirements click ok in the same way we can change it to area volume angle etc then click ok now how to create a new levels on the architecture tab under datum panel here we can find the option called level and the shortcut key is ll so select so once we select here we can see draw tools under draw tools first option is line where we can create a straight line levels so here as we are moving the cursor, we can see the value is getting changed. So the next level, at what height we want to create. So we can pick the point at particular height. So from level 2, I want to create the next level. That means level 3 at 4000 height. So I am picking point over there. So start point and end point. So we can pick anywhere on the screen. So after picking also, we can drag them. So I picked over here only. So I can select that particular level and here I can use this a ball option and I can extend that level. So here we can see level 3 has created at 8000 height. That means from level, from level 1, so level 3 created at 8000 mm height so this is line option next one we have pick line method so in pick line method it's very similar to the offset method in other softwares so here we can create n number of levels when we want to create at regular height so to create to use this method we need to have a reference level so here we have a reference levels so pick that option and in offset we can add the value so i want at 4000 only so i gave 4000 now place the cursor on the reference level so there we can see a blue color dashed line has been formed that means level 4 will be formed over there if i move the cursor down so again it will take 8000 minus 4000 that means on level 2 only one more level will be created. So either we can create on positive side or below the level negative side also. So here I want to create it above. So click. So here we can see level 4 created at 12000 height. So similarly we can create level 5, level 6. So like this we can directly pick and we can create n number of levels. So after that, after creating levels, I want to rename that. So technically in software we are calling it as level 1, level 2, level 3. But 
in general will be calling them as floors or will be naming them like basement cellar ground floor first floor like that so we can rename accordingly so here we can see in project browser under floor plans how many levels we have created that we can see over here level 1 to level 6 so to rename so we can zoom over there and double click on that particular name level 1 so here I want to rename it as a basement so name enter so here would you like to rename corresponding view yes so here it has been changed to basement the same thing will be reflected over project browser so this is the one method to rename the level and second method from project browser here level 2 right click and rename so here I am taking it as a, a first floor then enter so once again right click rename so I am giving first floor so here we can see would you like to rename corresponding level yes so here we can see it got rename either we can rename from over here or with the help of project browser also we can rename and we can edit the level height also so here we took the level height right 20,000 so here I want to move it either to 17,000 or 18,000 or 22,000 I can move so I can click on that value so here I am giving it as 22,000 enter so here we can see it has been moved up so in this way we can rename the level and we can edit the height between the levels and next we have few more options so once we select the level here we can see options the first one a box with the tick mark it will help to hide or unhide the details of that particular level so if I uncheck this here we can see the details got hidden if I check this box so here I got the details of this particular level and the next option lock so here has been discussed with the help of this drag ball we can move or we can extend the level so here I am moving the basement but with the basement the above levels are also moving accordingly so if I move this so the above levels are also moving but I want to move only that particular level I don't want to disturb other levels so select that particular level here we can find the lock symbol unlock and move so here we can see only that particular level is moving the other levels are not getting disturbed so if I select once again so here we can't find any lock symbol if I want to reposition it to original and I want to lock it so I can move this and here we can see a blue color dashed line drop over there so again it will be back to its original position and its a level has been locked and the last option we have elbow so when we are creating n number of levels at closer heights to avoid uh, collapsion or to avoid uh, overlapping between them we can use this elbow symbol so click on elbow symbol so here we can see it has been added a elbow here we can adjust this spacing also so if we don't want this elbow symbol again with the help of this drag we can put it to stretch so this is all about levels how to create levels and we have seen different options in levels and how to rename levels in architecture thank you